unit commitment in priority list method using full load average production cost flapc solved problem 1 determine priority list using full load average production cost for the data given below so in this table unit 1 and 2 3 data are given the loading limits minimum and maximum limits are given the fuel cost parameters are given ai bi and ci then fuel cost is given as 1.1 1 1.21 the priority list can be obtained using full load average production cost the full load average production cost is given as flapc i is equal to ki into fi of pgi divided by pgi where this pgi is power generation of ith unit which is equal to pgi max substitute the maximum limit of the generation in this formula solution from the given data the fuel cost equations can be written as using the fuel cost parameter we can write the equation as f1 is equal to 0 0.006 pg1 square plus 7 pg1 plus 600 where a is the coefficient of pgi square and b i is the coefficient of pgi and c a is the constant so using that we can write this equations now for unit 1 FLFPC is equal to K1 into F1 of PG1 divided by PG1, where this K1 is the fuel cost. So, for the first unit, the fuel cost is 1.1, and the PGI is equal to PGI max, maximum limit of PG1 is 400. So, substituting that value, K1 is 1.1 into F1 of PG1. So, F1 is the fuel cost function, and in that F in the first equation substitute pg1 is equal to the pg1 max that is 400 so 0 0.006 into 400 square plus 7 into 400 plus 600 divided by 400 so you'll be getting 11.99 so flapc1 is equal to 11.99 similarly for unit 2 flapc2 is equal to k2 into f2 of pg2 divided by pg2 so substitute pg2 max equal to 300 and the fuel cost k2 is equal to 1.2 so in the second equation of fuel cost function substitute pg2 is equal to 300 into k2 divided by pg2 that gives you 14.8 as flapc2 similarly for unit 3 pg3 equal to pg3 max which is equal to 500 fuel cost k3 equal to 1 substituting the value with the fuel cost function we will be getting 11 so flapc3 is equal to 11 so using this value arrange this flapc in ascending order to get the priority list so form the table like this flapc in the ascending order first 11 then 11.99 then 14.8 so 11 is the third unit 11.99 is the first unit and 14.8 is is second unit write the minimum and maximum limits corresponding to the particular unit now the unit commitment is combination of unit so based on the priority we are going to write the first priority is third unit second priority is first unit and third priority is second unit so unit 3 plus unit 1 plus unit 2 adding the minimum limit and maximum limit we will be getting 300 and 1200 and second combination leaving the least priority that is unit 2 the remaining two priority we, priorities we need to consider unit 3 and unit 1 the minimum and maximum combinations and in the third combination the next least priority unit 1 is left out so unit 3 alone present here the minimum and maximum combination so consider this unit commitment table depending upon the load demand the units will operate as per these combinations the first one if the load demand is less than 500 megawatt in third case 500 megawatt maximum megawatt for the combination is 500 if the load demand is less than 500 megawatt it is preferred to operate unit 3 alone second case if the load demand is between 500 to 900 it is preferred to operate unit 3 and unit 1 and if the load demand is between 900 to 1200 it is preferred to operate unit 3 unit 1 and unit 2 so these are the combination of operation so this is a unit commitment solution based on the priority list method using full load average production cost